Ladles and jelly spoons, bugs and grubs, potatoes of all ages. It's time for a stream. It's time for the Wizard of Oz. Welcome along, everybody. Oh my goodness, it's Friday night. Right here in the DP Dome, I am your old mate DP, and we are going to do an intro. This is the Wizard of Oz, our main save here on the channel for Football Manager 2023. The epic journey began with Adelaide United FC here in Australia, the club closest to where I live. We won the A-League and we won the Australian version of the FA Cup, the FFA Cup, or Australia Cup as it's called in game, which is rubbish. So because that's rubbish, we left and we went to South Korea where we won everything. K-League 2, K-League 1, Korean FA Cup, and the Asian Champions League. But we weren't done. Oh, no, 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 no. Then we up stumps, we ran away to Italy, ate a bunch of pasta, got really fat, and managed Palermo FC for a couple of seasons before landing in Germany, where we now find ourselves. We won promotion from two Bundesliga with Arminia Bielefeld and are now in our first season in the Bundesliga. The goal of the save, get to Europe, win the Champions League, which of course I've just noticed is cut off by the Deadpool 2028 logo. But that's the mission for the save. That's what we're up to here, right here, right now, right here, right now. And we're gonna get on with it. Welcome along, folks. This is gonna be a big one. This is gonna be a good night. I need to turn my volumes down. Here we go. I need to fix my phone because my phone's not doing all the things it should be doing because it's a monster. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get all that sorted out, shall we? There's also going to be an ad running in a minute, for which I apologise, but don't think the people who are here watching live are going to see it, and that sucks for you guys. Nothing I can do about it. So, where are we at? Let's do a recap that no one's going to see, unless they watch the pod. We're in eighth place. We've dropped out of the European places. That's absolutely fine. European football would absolutely ruin us. <clears throat> next season but we did secure survival so in the home stretch we're just looking to not be terrible and maybe blood in some uh, younger players who need to step up next season and this team will be stronger next season with the youth players we've got knocking around the place we it was a bit of a mixed bag last night we're all over the place um, so after the epic effort of beating FC Bayern we went out against FC Cole we beat them we lost to Leipzig 2-0. That was our first game of the stream last night, and that was awful. Uh, then we beat Karlsruhe 2-0, and that was great. And then uh, we had a double header against Hertha Berlin. Uh, first game in the league, we lost 3-2 at the death. There were two goals uh, in injury time, I'm pretty sure, or very late in the piece, um, uh, from Hertha and... That was gutting. Or oh, they took the lead. I can't remember. Let's have a look. The information's right there, DP. Just check it out. There we go. That tells the story. So, they took the lead early. We equalised after half time through a die die goal with an assist from Jaeger, which was great. <clears throat> they fought back a few minutes later. Uh, Seb Richter and Goy combined for another equaliser. We were trying to hang on. All of our players were pretty much exhausted at that point. And then this clown, Ozcan, who's a really good striker, he popped up and scored and then we had to play him again a few days later in the cup uh, we were struggling for fitness big time in this match um, because of the previous game everyone had played a lot of football I'm just adjusting my chair so got down to the 89th minute Sebrick to scored and it looked like we were going through and then we've coughed up a goal in injury time right at the death it went to extra time into the second period of extra time, just about. Uh, Dadai scored a one and scored a penalty with a great run down the right hand side. Uh, and then Stenman sealed it and got us through to the final of the German Cup. That's right, tonight we are playing a cup final as our last game of the season against Bayern Munich, who we beat 1 0 not too long ago. That came out of my mouth sounding weird, but it did actually happen. It's a real thing. Uh, we've also got to play Wolfsburg. Uh, we're playing that at home. We've got a friendly against Salzburg uh, because there's an international gap or something going on here. Champions League final. I don't know. But it was a long gap. We've got to play Munchen Gladbach. 
and then the cup final and then we'll get into some transfers no idea how long the stream's going to be tonight because it's friday night here in oz the work week is done i'm feeling very very chill very very relaxed and there's no time limit so we are just going to cruise on in and do whatever the hell we want <laughs> uh i didn't continue three after last night after we played Stuttgart, which I think we won. Did we win that or we I don't even remember. What did we do? I was just looking at this. We lost to Stuttgart, and that's fine. Because again, all of our players were exhausted. I'm not kidding. Nearly every player on the park, except for the people who were subbed in the second half, by the end of that game, for both sides, were very, very much uh, with red hearts for fitness. Um, the other team's actually worse off. The us, Herta, they had a lot of dudes who were like, dark, 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 red. Um, and that may have been the difference maker, that we just had a few more players that had a, a bit more in the tank. Regardless, uh, it was an awesome effort. This is good for us. Wolfsburg have just lost 4-2 to Werder Bremen. Either they'll be down on confidence, or they'll be really angry and out for blood. But they're second in the league, so it's going to be a tough game regardless. At least it should be. They did just lose the second bottom of, of the table. Uh, and Carlsberg lost to Augsburg. We're trying to chase us down and finish above us. But honestly, we don't care about that. We scored an extra two and a half million for the win in the cup and making it through to the final, which translates into an extra s five and a half million because we straight away get another 2.6 just for showing up for the final. If we were to win it, we get that uh, again. So it's a potentially five million quid game but we're not in it to win it it would be lovely to win it but we're playing against the best team in germany so you know it's it's not a requirement zero pressure on the lads to get a result in that game but it would be pretty cool um and league wise uh, again job is done we're staying up so we don't have to stress about that at all um yeah, and we kind of want to avoid European football if we can because we don't have a squad that can support it. Uh, in other news squad-wise, as we know, uh, and just in case anybody's missed it transfer-wise, it's been a little bit of action, not heaps. Um, Ribeiro is leaving the club, uh, so doesn't need to take part for the rest of the season. He has been a good servant, uh, servant for us, so I'm thinking maybe we just stick with him. For the rest of the suit, yeah. We, we know he's better. Oh, guys, I can't, I can't stomach it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it to myself. Um, these guys need to come back in with the team. Nadi's jumping out. Goy needs to come back in. W. Richter needs to come back in. Jaeger needs to come back in somewhere. I really want Stenman back in too. Uh, it's a tough one. Yeah, that gives us cover where we need it. Midfield, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to blood in the younger guys? The younger guys aren't really younger enough anymore. So I don't know. Anyway, that's what we got. That's what we'll do. The Lonies don't really need to play for the rest of the season. We want to keep fit for the cup final because it would be nice to win it. So let's give ourselves a bloody shot, shall we? Um, all those Lonies have got to be replaced next season. We're not going to be able to bring any of them back. Uh, except for Kovemans. Kovemans and Doom are joining us permanently. Um, we're not paying crazy money, especially Kovemans. Like, if you think about the fact we sold Ribeiro, the goalkeeper, for nine million or something like that. Um, and then we bought Kovermans, who's been really good. Um, we got him for 45 grand as part of his loan agreement. Dirt cheap, and he's definitely worth more than that. He's a better player than that. Uh, Let's just offer to pay his wages, right? And then, is it 
optional future fee. They're not having it. So we're not going to be able to keep separate. We're definitely not going to be able to keep Pollard. There's just nothing we can do about it. And that's fine. Because uh, as part of staying in the Bundesliga, we've got about 50 to 60 million quid coming in. So we could have a semi-decent war chest to play with, which would be fantastic. I kind of want to play full strength <clears throat> as much as possible. That guy's been in great form, so I don't want to drop him out of the squad. Stemming or Richter, we've got to go with Richter. Espindol is not as good as Jaeger, so we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to click keep Bloodman Parky. Uh, Kovamids, I should say. So let's give Parker a run in defense, because we know he's great. Um, I do really want Zikowski on the bench, though. So it's been dull to come out. There's Zikowski. I kind of want Gillingvold, too. I don't want to do a major overhaul of the squad in the, in the summer either. Um, we've got some players who can probably move on. Or who will need to move on. Possibly who want to move on. But I don't want to leave ourselves short. And we know from experience, especially this season, the more of the squad we can keep together, the better off we're going to be next season. Because those... Uh, social groups, the, the club dynamics, um, and the pretend you know digital relationships players have, and team cohesion, tactical familiarity. The less changes we make, the better off we're going to be. So, and that's part of the problem with having so many loanees. We've been way too reliant on them, but we haven't had the budget to do anything else. But if we keep the experienced guys around and uh, keep the leaders. Yes, give him a contract. It's four-star potential, absolutely. Oh, and he's a striker. Hello. This guy. Yeah, I like it. Leon Doll. Units. Attacking unit. Defensive unit. Leon Doll. Get in there. Train with the first team. Sneaky sneaks. Operation Sneaky Sneaks. Are we happy with this squad? Chuckman, Jaeger, Dadai, Richter. Richter's been in good form too. Dadai's fit. Goy we can bring on off the bench. Ehrman's floor. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Let's go with that. Oh, we could get Wodge fit. Be there. Yeah, Wodge is going to start. Okay, that's what we're going with. And then we've got options on the bench. Here we go. First game of the stream against Wolfsburg. Probably going to lose. It's fine. Who cares? It's party time. We're in celebration mode. Again, we can't stress this enough. The job is done. None of these results matter, other than, you know, pride and looking awesome. But if we win our last two league games, we'll probably finish in uh, Europe Conference League spot. Revenge on Wolfsburg. Yes, let's get revenge. And this is our last home game of the season. Our home form's been pretty good. So, you never know. Maybe an upset. Let's just get into the game. Early in courage. Come on, boys. Do all the things. Have some fun. 26,000 fans in the stadium. Seb Richter's picked himself up an early yellow card. That's pretty much par for the course. That was poor. Poor from floor. Left way too much space out wide. We've got to watch this runner in the centre here. There's two of them. 
Oh, it's iffy. And that's the sort of iffy moment w w that means I wasn't super hesitant to let Ribeiro go. Um, we have arranged. That's going to be a card ref. Far out. Um, let's play advantage. I'm cool with that. Here's our die. And there's a goal for Jaeger. Yes! First goal of the stream. That gets Final Fantasy Trumpets, boys and girls. There they are. Okay, we'll start. I thought the chance had gone because Dardai took his run very deep. He's turned around. Thought he was going to be looking for, like, Pollard or Richter in here. But he's found Jaeger instead. That was very cool. I actually knew that was Richter by looking at his head, not his shirt. Because I wasn't entirely sure who number six was. God, I put up in fifth. We don't want to be there. We'll take European football. I just don't know how we're going to go with things like European registration. Um, we don't have a hell of a lot of foreign players, but it might still be a struggle. Uh, I do know <clears throat> We don't have the kind of squad that's capable of playing two games a week. Ivan Pollard's scored his 19th goal of the season. And we're 2-0 up against a team that's second in the league. This is ridiculous. The other thing, the other thing, and we found this out in stream the other night, or earlier in the week, or last week, I can't remember. Um, this will be our highest finish ever for Armenia Bielefeld. Their previous best in this save was 17th in the Bundesliga which is basically a relegation spot. So, this whole club is in complete and utter nosebleed territory. Richter with a good run, he had three defenders chasing him. We are dropping frames like it's nobody's business. I don't fully know why. I was worried about this and I actually reset my internet completely before we started the stream tonight. I was just pausing the game because I was fiddling with it to make sure it was going to settle down and behave. Alright, back into it. I'm going to praise the lads because we're doing really well. I'm going to stop the whole get stuck in thing. We're dropping frames again. Subric has hit the post. I don't know why my internet's misbehaving so much. Well, it's not my internet, it's Twitch. Network frames we're dropping. Stop talking about it. We all know it's there. We all know it's happening. I apologise. Let's get on with it. Uh, yep, please, number of shots taken. Everyone's in green. Let's freaking go. Just going to keep an eye on fitness and hope we don't do a bunch of stupid stuff and cop up the result. And hope that either Pollard or Richter. Don't do another completely psychotic, unnecessary slide tackle. They have, in the back end of the season, gotten into the habit of trying to scissor kick everybody on the ground. I don't care for it. Richter is having an absolutely horrid time of things on the left wing today. And I think we're going to make a change. I think we're going to swap that die out onto that left hand side and we'll bring on uh, Sahail Goy cover that position. Yeah, we're going to arrange that change now. Boop. And boop. Let's try and give us a bit more attacking impetus on the left. It's been really wholly ineffective. So Noel's also don't have a great time at right back. Okay. Couple more changes. Pollard's got his goal, so we can give Sikowski a run. But I've done his job. We're going to put Stenman on. That's three subs. Uh, Zanola's struggled a little bit. But let's get Donati on. And... We've got to throw in the captain, surely. Yeah? Or Gillespie. Some minutes. Let's get some minutes in the Gillespie. We'll take off the chap, man. There we go. Five changes. Five changes at once because we're crazy. We're wild and crazy. Oh, red card referee, you're not allowed to tackle the chuck man like that. 
It's against the rules. They must have been outside because that defend that attacker just gave up. That's it. Leather it. Get rid of it. They're uh, they're playing around us pretty well. We've conceded a corner, which isn't a goal. They're two different things, and I'm semi okay with it. All the subs are going through now. Praise the lads again. Lauren Coverman's tired, but they played a lot of football as well recently. So it's understandable. We've got the football. Couple of minutes left. Can we make something happen? Not if we keep giving the ball away. Trying to get stuck in back on because since we got rid of that, we've been struggling and we've coughed up a goal. Guys! Typical bloody Ribeiro. It was just poor, really. Like, we're being overloaded massively. This guy's in space. Ribeiro was just not paying attention at all. Couple more minutes to survive. But it shouldn't have ended with a scare like that. Still, result is a result. And we will absolutely take it. Well done, Dadai. Well done, Danny Floor. Out at left back. It's a good sign for next season. Chuck Man, of course. Proud of his performance. As always. Pollard, he's a striker. We're happy with his performance. Dadai didn't like being complimented. He's a very modest man. He gets embarrassed. He's shy. Fine. And that rockets us from 8th up to 5th. We're still, technically, if we can win by 8 goals, Britain with a shout out. Freaking champions. Look. We don't want, like, the money would be fantastic for the club. Um, it'd be a disaster for results. That's the problem. You know, we could have like two days off. Go to training. Calendar. Loop. Here. I want you doing... Just a balanced schedule. And I'm happy with physical there. Go a big match training there. This will be a big match. And because we can, we'll do we'll visit some hospitals and some schools. We'll go go karting. And a bit of a mini golf. And maybe some rock climbing. We'll mix it up. It's important. Do, 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 do. And let's get fancy. Let's do match reviews because I haven't put these in all season. Don't know if anybody noticed, but yeah, I just left the training completely alone. Well, pretty much since we got to this club, I mean, Bielefeld. Training? Didn't touch it. Which is further evidence. You can leave all of this stuff to your staff. You're still going to get results. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> Bit of deep pitches. Good for the soul. Okay. Where are we at? Yep, we had a good game. Performance, but. This is the one that used to have the graphs and stuff. I miss the graphs. I don't like that now I've got to do this to see them. The passing thing's so weird. Creativity from forwards. Yeah. Goalkeeping, where are we? Penetral defense, quiet defense. 
Okay. So cool. So we'll just take stock really quickly, because this is the main concern for next season. We've had Zukowski here, we tried giving him runs in the team, he's had opportunities through Pollard's psychosis suspensions. <laughs> um, we're in the middle of the bunch for transfer spin, that's interesting. A plus from the board, they're ecstatic, support has given us B minus. That might go up if we uh, give a good count of ourselves in the cup. This is what I was going to talk about to you though speak to talk of words um so Kobe needs to stay <clears throat> separate do we need to replace we need a replacement left wing he's been much better this season still rating under a seven is a worry same with watch hmm uh ba -ba 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 -ba. the night is under a seven too but he's been hampered by injury a lot this season uh doom staying Fatu we won't have but he's been our best left back um we could potentially buy him, but he'd be expensive. And I am tempted to put in a bid. I might just see if there's an opportunity that we can get him on loan again. So I've got to pay all his wages. Uh, and we add in a B. Pays wages next season, and then we've got to pay what two and a half mil. I'm probably not going to buy that out early, depending on the chance of budget. All right, so that'll be left back sorted. We know we're keeping Zoom. We've got Ermin, we've got the Wodge. We won't have what's his knob, Bernardi, but that's fine. Kevin is a stank. Jaeger, Chapman, Gillespie, uh, and Espindola's been disappointing. Um, the die will still be here, so we're cool with that. Richter and Pollard are going. So left wing striker, striker we definitely need, and goalkeeper. Uh, Parker can cover defence or defensive mid. He's our captain. Stenman's still going to be here on the left wing. He's 24. Zakowski will still be here. Gill will still be here. Fernandez will be here as well. Udra will be knocked around as a backup. Uh, Schallenberg will move on. Okoa. Wolf will be here to play up front. Francesco Ricci. The Carlos Tavares will be coming back, but we'll probably sell him. So either we take all of our budget and throw it at one or two positions. Probably striker and goalkeeper. I think that's the way to go. Massively upgrade goalkeeper, assuming we can. And get the best striker we can for the money. With a proving, proven goal scoring record, preferably players who already speak German. So who can knock us off here? Mainz, Dortmund. Doesn't really matter. We kind of want them to. I've never been in this position before where I'm like, I don't want to be as high up the table as we are. It's scary. Hertha have booked their Europa League ticket. Good for them. <sighs> Coming up. Not a lot's going to be happening over the next little while, folks. So let's talk about something else because none of this is exciting. Uh, I'm going out tomorrow night. Uh, my mate's Ben here in Adelaide, Cactus Jack, playing at the Gulf. So I'm going to get along and support them. They're a good bunch. Let me jam with them a few times. Taking my guitars and stuff and making some noise and ruining all their 
country songs. Because <laughs> country's really not my thing. But um, they're a really good bunch of uh, lads and ladies. Jazz, the bass player. Is a female, she's very, very good. Um, yeah, it should be a fun night. I am still dropping frames. So yeah, I'm excited for that. I put the call out to like everybody I know and just told them, look, I know you people, I know you've got nothing better to do on a Saturday night, so you should all come along. So you know, if you're in Adelaide and you want to see a good band, get down to the gut. It's going to be awesome. Come and hang out. I don't own the place or anything. I get nothing out of it. Uh, no, you're not the answer, are you? Nor are you. It's a bit sad. Oh, we've played these guys before, they've got real players. This might have been a mistake. Still though, it's better than just playing a, a nothing team from local leagues that we can just walk all over, I guess. And it's only friendly. Yes. Ah. Uh, 2.5 million when his value was up to three. That's not bad. And yeah, we're paying his wages, but it's cheap. I like it. Yeah, there you go. Bell's turned professional. He's got bags of potential. Stemmons injured himself, which he's done a lot of. That is disappointing. But, you know, it is what it is. It's friendly, get through another week. Two games left for the season. Where are we going to finish? How much money are we going to get? Nobody knows. But it should be bucket loads. And for the most part, we've kept our wage budget under control all season. We haven't really gone nuts with it. Um, we've stayed within it or adjusted as need be and not overspent. So if we look at the finances now, there we go. Under wage budget. We generated more than we spent in terms of transfer budget. Club is 15 mil in the hole. Take another two and a half off that for playing in the final, so it's 12. And then, I keep looking at this because it's very exciting to me. Looking at the rules, and for a finish, we guarantee no less than 54 million quid coming into the club. That is pretty awesome. If we finish where we are now, it's almost another 10 million, 62. And again, the only advantage to, to finishing up here in these spots is extra cash, European money, group stage, and extra TV rights, and all that kind of deliciousness. We're going to make some tweaks. Uh, we're going to get Connor in for Jaeger. We're going to play... Farthy on the left. We're going to play Parky here. We're going to play Doom instead of the Watch and we'll swap them over. We're also keeping Donati around. I don't care what anyone says, he stays. But uh, his days are numbered. It's getting a bit long in the tooth. And if we keep progressing with our mini Bielefeld, we're going to outgrow him. And I will be sad. But, maybe, just maybe. Oh, you know what? We need to rotate the crap out of this squad. Should be rotating because um, it's friendly, so he cares. 
Uh, yeah, 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 cool. Silly DP. Um, Donati. It's 31 now. He doesn't have any staff things going on. Holds us in the highest regard as a manager. Oh, of course he does. Um, his quality. I'd love to keep him on as a coach or something. It might take a couple more seasons for him to get to that point. He will play less next season. He hasn't played a bunch this season. Like 11 starts, 13 appearances off the bench. Which last year was last two seasons big Mr. Reliable but yeah he's 31 he's going to be slowing down and we're going to be hopefully bringing in more players around him to strengthen the squad but he's no longer like the cornerstone of the team and he's literally been the cornerstone of our last three clubs um at Johnny and Dragons, and then uh, again at Palomo, we brought him in to do a job in defence, and he absolutely did it. Um, yeah. No. Check him back in. So we wrecked it back in. Anything else I change? Or are we good with this? Yeah, I think we're good with this. Seems really done to leave that guy out of the team altogether. All right, I'm in two minds. I want to win the Gladback game, but we are away from home, so it's an iffy thing and blah blah blah. Anyway, Donati, I want to keep him around. He'll be good for mentoring. He's got plenty of experience. There is a huge ass dragonfly on my wall over there. I just saw it flying around. What are you doing in here, you maniac? I'm in a freaking zoo. Got a menagerie now. Stay on my drink, dragonfly. Take a breather in like 20 minutes and I'll escort you outside. I'm not gonna kill it. I ain't hurt nobody. Uh, no, I'm not changing my training. We're gonna do what I said. Glad back in 13th. It's our last game of the season. Kaiser Slouten have got themselves promoted. They'll be joining us in the Bundesliga next season along with Hamburg. There you go. And Union Berlin are currently occupying the playoff spots. Interesting. Oh. Five suggestions. Yes, make Bill available. He can play 90 minutes. Uji can play 90 minutes. And uh, Gillespie. Play 45. Beautiful. How's John Yan doing? Fourth place. Go, you good thing. And Anton Gill's picked up a concussion. What a brilliant signing he's been, hey? He's been injured most of the season. I think we got him on a free though, so I'm not too stressed, but still. I think he's a bust. It's all the dynamics. Yeah, pretty good. Happiness. Yeah, I'm grumpy. Who's just grumpy about his game time? 
Kowski's concerned about his playing time. Well, it's Kowski, you need to stop being awful. Like, be better at football. Manier, The Lodge, and Gillespie have been called up for international duty 11th of June to 11th of July. Is that Euros, maybe? Or are we reduced for another World Cup? Euros. I think we're due for a World Cup in the save, yeah. Yeah, it's 20, 2032 in saves. It's been 10 years. No, it'll be Euros. Uh, Brady yeah. Dardine, Burge of an assist landmark. Kigawa. Has 12 assists in the first season of the save. Well, I mean, that tells me, really, that guy's got to play. If he's got a chance at a record, how can we not? This seems mean. All right. Anyone else I really want in the squad? Is that, no. I'm happy with that. Let's get her done. All right. Last game of the season. And then we might actually get transfer budgets. Scholars announced. Okay. So we've got a really good young left back. Left midfielder, striker we know about. Cool. Something to look out for. Apparently I'm interested in signing this guy. Let's, uh, let's go full scout report on him. Looks alright. Yeah, you won't be selling a strict. I know that, Mr. Nagelsman. It's Fine. Totally get it. I totally understand, man. This guy I've had an eye on for a while. To come in and do a job at midfield, but... I'm not sure he really gives us anything we don't have. And then there's this guy with four star potential. He's 22. No. They need to stop scouting for positions we don't use. Yeah, Champions League bomb. Expectations for match. A draw. We can do better than a draw, surely. What's this? Okay. All right. This determines how much money we get. We're playing for pride and momentum going into the cup final. So if we get a result, that would be great. No requirement. A little bit of rotation, but not heaps. And we're starting to die because he's got a chance at breaking the assist record for the club or equaling it. Which means he'll get it because I go with the most recent one usually. Um, and I just think that would be neat. Revenge on these clowns. Yes. We would love a bit of revenge. It would be awesome. So let's go get it. There we go. Catch lads early. Because we're away from home. Do not let them score early. Don't let them run at us like this. I mean, if they want to shoot like that all day, I, I have no objection. Fine with that. Keep blazing over. But traditionally, this season, we've not been awesome away from home. Ah, we've... That's a pen we've given away. 
Espindola with a silly challenge for a guy that was covered. He's just hacked at him from behind. And... Cost us. Now, attacking Mazala probably shouldn't be back that far. Trying to stop a penetrating run like that. Disappointing. I don't want to see dirty penalty. It's evil. Right. So we've turned the kick the crap out of them off. Because they just seem to be getting a lot of the football and I don't like that. Here's has been dollar. Can you redeem yourself? Nearly, with a deflection as well. Decent effort, probably just a little bit more on the shot. He might have been okay. We've got a corner though, Dada to deliver. Is this the moment he breaks the record? Nope. <laughs> oh, that's a clever pass from Doom. To Ehrman, highlight's gonna end here. Here's Pollard, trying to do Pollard things. Almost won a corner. They defended it pretty well. I'll encourage the lads. Tempted to go positive, but I don't want to do anything stupid either. So we've got plenty of time. And we've had heaps more of the football, so you definitely don't need to panic. Now Espindola's redeemed himself. One all. From villain to hero in about 20 minutes. And I'm less cranky with him now. Ah, uh, Dadai Dai. And Dadai just got his assist. Oh, that's awesome. Record for Dadai. He's earned that. He got off to a slow start this season. And then questions were raised. But he's, he has finished with a flourish. Absolutely. Ribeiro, what the hell are you doing? Ah. Poor. That was really poor defending. Nah, I can't do trumpets until he's confirmed with the record. Mr. Lucas, welcome along. Is that? Yeah. Barthy, who we've just agreed to buy for two and a half million after his loan next season is letting us down big time. But here's Dadai, again. Oh, come on, Ref, you took that over the line, clearly. We're gonna give him bollocking. Encourage everyone. We're gonna go positive. <sighs> Emma's not having a good day at the office either. I mean, no one is really. We just need to do better. Surely you can do better. Chapman, to that die, out to Farthy. Don't do anything dumb. Spine a pass, get the ball in. To Parky with a clever cross to Goy, and Goy's bunged it in. His 12th of the season, not 12 goals for us, sadly. It was a late addition. But he stepped up when it counts. Pollard is having a really torrid time up front. His head's not in the game. Courage. He needs to demand more or a kick in the head or something. We're going to make a couple of changes. Barkley's not comfortable. Floor can come on for him. Uh, Paul's on a 6.2. So that means he's not playing okay. Game? Not at all. I'm going to throw Jaeger on for us from Dola. That'll do for now. 
go attacking, screw it. If we're gonna have to play European football next season, I'd rather do it with a win. And I wanna finish with a win. Make a couple more changes. Nardi can come off as Anola. Um, Sebi so Richter, last league game for us. Let's just see if we can make something happen. Here's the boys. Let's just do all the things and push for a goal. No, it's going to finish 2 2 or we're going to lose. Looking more like 2 2 at the minute. Got a yellow card though, that was nice. Finish with point! Nothing wrong with that. We're the better team on the day. XG tells the story. Individuals. Delighted. Alright, uh, did well. Six point two for Pollard. Oh, and we finished sixth. And look at that. Fifty nine point three seven million. Look at that. And we qualified for the conference league. So not as much European money, it's not really worth the effort. But hey, conference led. Maybe we can win it. I don't know. Look at that bank balance, eh? Hey? Debt gone. There it is. Conference League for us. Missed out on Europa League. Story the same. Missed out on Europa League. Why? A goal difference. Same wins, same draws, same losses as me. Doesn't matter. We missed out on nothing. We were predicted to finish here in 17th. Season preview. No, that's not true. We were down here at 300 to 1. So that's been adjusted through the season. Because that is is not accurate. This is not accurate at all. Um, but we finished up here. Love it. Well done, everybody. Well done. To the team, mission accomplished, survival, huge chunk of money coming into the club, which is enormous, with even more money to come. Because if we have a look at Europa Conference League, because, you know, why not? There's money there. Champions Path, burr, 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 burr. I don't know if we have to play qualifying. So there's the league phase. 400 grand to win. 150 grand for a draw. It's not bad. It's not bad. Finish in top two, you get some cash. Get to the knockouts. 150, round of 16, half a mil. Quarter final, 800 grand. Semi final. Final. So yeah, it's not enormous money, but hey, money's money. And again, Conference League, when we're playing against teams, we've got more chance of getting a result against than Europa League or Champions League. But it'll be our first continental competition in the save, which is huge! And now we're just going to have a little goosey goo at club facilities. We've got great training facilities, great youth facilities. We need to up our youth recruitment and coaching. So let's go see the board now that we've got some cash. Hello, board. Uh, 
Can we increase the junior coaching budget, please? No, stadium, no. And can we improve the training facilities? We'll ask for those two and we'll see what happens. That's really all we want. I don't want anything else. Spend a little bit of cash there, invest in the club, keep building it up, and then just give us the rest to spend on players. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not changing the training. We're going to keep it as is. And then we're going to unrotate this squad. I think we leave that guy in. Jaeger starts. Floor starts. You know what? Cup final. I have to, I have to go with Donati. I've got to do it. Who are our best defenders? Probably these two. We're going to play Kerbermans. We're going to play Parky in defence. Yeah, I like that. I like that more. Uh, Gillespie can come in for Espindola. Yeah, I think that I get to nod. Over Serbia Richter. Cool, 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 cool. Squad is picked for the final unless people get injured. Touch wood. Nobody jinx it. And if we lose, we lose. We're still getting two and a half mil. Excited. Cup final time in a minute. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. And we've been going for an hour. You know what that means. You can set your watch to it. I have to go to the bathroom. Hey, we get new training facilities. 1.84 million. That's not too bad. We finished getting this guy. Don't want him. Recruitment focus update. Excellent. Transfer list notification. Jaden Banal. Poor guy. But you know, who am I to judge? Official completed, Aston Villa for Tyrone means to say. Who? Who's Tyrone Minks? Never heard of him, Zach. No idea who you mean. What do you mean? This guy. That's right. The channel has an official Harry Mings emote. How good's that? We've also got, it's very hard to read. But uh, we got all these too. There you go. Harry Mings. So the intent with the Harry Mings email is anytime someone does something really stupid, they're Harry Mings, or they're doing a Harry. The uh, the one that didn't get approved though is my L plate. You can't just have a single letter for my L plate, so I've got to come up with a new design so that I can have an L plate emote without it just being a, an L plate. Uh, we drew with you on a mob a minute ago, Zach. Down here. Can you see him? There you go. Munch and glad back. To all. We fought back twice valiantly, but we couldn't get a winner. Because uh, Ivan Pollard decided he just wasn't up for playing a game of football. Uh, but we have finished in sixth place. We qualified for the Europa Conference League, which really is the biggest competition in Europe. We all know it. It's one everybody wants. Bayern are disappointed. They finished as high as they did, quite frankly. Uh, and we've got to play in the German Cup against Bayern in the last game of the season.
Uh, you should have it, Lucas. Oh, no, you're not subbed. It's a sub emote. It is a sub emote. But uh, I will get that fixed up for you, sir. I will gift you a sub. You are 13. You guys suck. And you beat us earlier in the season. Uh, oh, yeah, because you bounced the other night. Um, before that game. This one. That we lost 2-0. We were absolutely toothless. Pollard on a 6.2. Zanola and Costa. This is, I think that's the game that, that made me decide to bin off Costa. At 6.3. And yet Zanola's still knocking around here. I keep waiting for him to get better and he just doesn't. Hence... Francesco Donati at 31 is going to be starting the German Cup final for us. Zanola is probably the one player in this squad that I don't trust enough. Who's the best favourite player in your team at the moment? We've, as usual, we've got a few heroes. Because, you know, here in the DP Dome, we are all about narrative. Uh, but looking at the squad, you got Parky. He's our club captain now. He's come all the way from South Korea, where we uh, uh, developed him as a teenager. We brought him in for cheap to John Yam. Well, not for cheap at the time. It was half a million quid. We bought him for one and a half. And he's still rating in the sevens. He's awesome. And we turned him into a defensive midfielder from a central defender. So Parky's a hero. Donati is officially a legend of the channel at this point. Other than Adelaide, he's played at every club we've managed in this save. And consistently averaged sevens when we've had him. Look at that. Madness. Struggled this season because of injury, but he's at a 6.83. Uh, 6.97... Here, but we only brought him in in January and I think he got injured. So, and we had that shock and run of results at the end of the season too, which wasn't his fault. Uh, so yeah, Donati for sure. Uh, the Chuck man, Chuck Bumaker, has been awesome since the day he joined. 7.1, 7.2. Uh, hasn't scored as many goals this season. A little bit of injury because he's getting older, but... Yeah, he's a champion. Ben K. die, won't die. The guy doesn't give up. We've barely given him a look in since he got here. Um, he played a little bit, but not super often the first season. Last season, he lit it up and was great. And he's done it again this season. So he's good. Yeah, Chuckman's great. He's almost got the love heart you want for a striker. But he's got that little bit of defensive nous as well. Um, and we don't even play him as this, as the playmaker. We play him as a Mazala. There you go. And he's fantastic. Uh, who else? Anyone else? That's about it. Pollard's the best striker we've had for a long time. Since Lee and Gu. Um, pretty consistent. But uh, he's young, so... That's why you see him have like a 6.2 or a 6.3 here or there. And then he'll go five, six games and get, get you one or two goals. Um, so that's been fun. And we're really going to miss him. Uh, and Dortmund are going to love having him back because they had a shocking season. So he'll be playing for them. That's about it, I think. So yeah, Donati, Parky, Chuckman and Pollard, but Jaeger's grown on me too. Jaeger's come in and been fantastic um, this season, rating a seven. So yeah, we've got a good bunch, but we've got a bit of work to do in the summer, especially now we've got to play in Europe as well. Now, um, we've tried to loan him again, but look at his value, 46 to 68 million. Uh, we're paying Somehow we got him on loan for two years. I thought he only got him for one, but we got him for two. Uh, but his contract now with Vice is 110 grand a week. 
with an 81 million quid release clause. Ouch. Um, so basically they've given him like a starting striker contract while he's been on loan with us. Um, despite the fact he's not playing for them. So they knew they had one on the cards. Oh yeah, we're not going to be beating Dortmund next season. So we need to find another one of them. Uh, we've got plenty of cover for left wing. Right wing is a problem. Uh, so we're probably looking to buy a goalkeeper, a right winger and a striker. They're the biggest priorities because Ribeiro is leaving. Um, and then if there's anything left, we'll probably look for another right back to back up Donati because I think Zanola might be moving on now. He hasn't impressed me enough. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's the, the current state of the union. Or we can bugger up and manage Arsenal. Um, yeah, Zach's going, hmm, I'm going Arsenal. Like, we don't have the same reputation. Poch, Lafon, like, I'm going to apply. There's nothing else floating around that would be an upgrade. From where we're at, but that this the Ipswich job is said too. He's been sacked for finishing fifth. View uh, the job advert. Look at that wage bill. It's like five hundred times our wage budget. They're rich. We're not going to get the job. It's Arsenal, five-star Premier League club. And here's little old DP with my three-star rep, my Continental Pro license walking in. How you doing? I'll take over one of the biggest clubs in world football. No dramas. Qualified for the Europa Conference League. But hey, I can hand out fines like it's nobody's business. I can manage a roster, and I can put a smile on everybody's dial. What more do you want? Perfect fit. And I can find all the best players in Australia and Germany, and uh, I know I can find strikers who can't score goals in Italy. We're really good at that. And uh, I can probably dig up some hidden gems from South Korea as well. We've applied. We'll see what happens. We'll hit continue and get the just no. No, oh, so far so good. That's pretty cool. So we all know it's not the job I want. I'd rather manage United. I thought that was it then. <laughs> I thought that was application rejected, but it's not. They're not gonna increase the junior coaching budget. I'm gonna talk to them because I think we need to do that. All right, Heiko. You're being very short-sighted, Heiko. That's because we just had an awesome youth intake, so it's like, stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Nola's completed his leadership course. Got nothing out of it. We've seen that, Sonola. Apparently not getting much out of training either, or game time, which is a concern. Everyone's enjoying the soundtrack, that Kmart Dragon Force. Hell yeah. It's quite good though, it's good riff. Dignity. We well, spelt it the same way twice, Lucas. I'm not seeing an issue. Unless you're not trying to say dignity and you're trying to say something else. And you're literally using the wrong word. In which case, yeah, that's probably an issue. 
get that looked into. He's not for sale. Well, give me a scout report. And, like, get him for sale or something. Is this, I'm, in the, I'm on the player search screen. Ew, disgusting. I want to cancel that scout report request now. Yeah. Yeah, I feel icky. Icky goo. Um. I don't even know why I came to the screen now. Oh, or dignity. Gotcha. Okay, now it makes more sense. Legit can't remember why I came to the screen. There's no way this guy at 23 is available for that much money. Has he ever done anything? Not really. He's played 32 games and scored six goals. You are not the answer, Ben Fenn. You are not the answer at all, I am, buddy. What about Christian Bellas? Strikes is going to be a problem. Can we ask the board for more presents? Let's ask them for more presents. Improve the youth facilities as well. What else do we want? Uh, networking? No. No. Build, buy, expand. What are they paying for the stadium? A million quid a year. Council owns it. But we're probably still liable for the upkeep. Expenditure. Non-football costs. Ground maintenance. Yeah, so we're still paying for the ground maintenance. It'll probably blow all the budget, or all the money they've got. Because we're probably talking, what, 20 to 50 million to buy the stadium? We don't want to do that. We want the transfer monies. Parky's finished his leadership course just as well since he's club captain. And he liked it. Not like that other loser. Um. Yeah, if we were to get the Arsenal job, I'm not against that. Because again, realism mode is on. So in the real world, if I was managing effectively a second division club in Germany and the job came up at Arsenal, I'd apply for it. And as much as like personally, I'm not an Arsenal fan, I still harbour resentment towards them as a United supporter. If I was a legit football manager, I'd be a total mercenary. If they offered me a job. I would absolutely take it I would go there would be a DP shaped puff of smoke on the training pitch that I'm in in Bielefeld and I'd be halfway to London that's how that would go team selection advice all of this seems like madness no we've already picked our squad this is going to be the first German Cup final for 127 years for this club. Eh? 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 That's pretty awesome. Much rather than going to the Manchester. Yeah, but then you're surrounded by, like, London. And London football clubs. Ugh. Think of it that way. Nah. Plus, if I was getting paid the amount of money the Arsenal manager gets paid, uh, I'd get a helicopter to the training ground. So yeah, I'd probably still live in London. But I have a helicopter. That's not true. I'd probably live in Manchester. Because I'm sure I could have a chat with uh, Genev and get a good deal on a piece of real estate. Hold team meeting. 
ease the pressure, play down the importance of the match. All right, kids, what are we selecting? Here are our options. Nobody remembers a cup final loser. That probably seems a bit harsh. Uh, I know how special cup finals are, so enjoy the occasion. Drink it in, do everything you can to make it a memorable day with a win. It still seems like too much pressure. Let's go with the... Which one? For some people, a cup final is a big match. To us, it shouldn't be anything other than business as usual. Go into the game with that mindset. That seems a bit... Too... Too meh. But enjoying the occasion. I like this one. I'm proud of you all for reaching the final. And while we all obviously want to win it, there are no great expectations on us doing so. Enjoy the occasion. I like that one. Don't remember seeing the sun. Yeah, pump the fist. That's what we want, lads. Good enough. Yeah, most of Manchester is all about taking the piss. <laughs> totally understand it. You would, they, they were just providing the full experience. You don't deserve, you got to earn sunlight. It's a world class town. No free rides. There we go. Press conference, done. It is a PMD adapter. It's got a dinosaur waving at me, wearing a sailor hat. I respect this. I fully support your initiative, whatever it is. Now they want me to sign players ready to play in the first team rather than hoping someone comes through the year team. Now you can defend Baron all you want. Hey, take it. <laughs> I haven't caught one of his streams in forever because I've been so busy. I'm hoping I can this weekend if he's on. I'm going to discuss this with the board. Hey, board, you should invest in the youth facilities. Don't be ripping them off. It's worth investing in youth development. The more time and money we put in, the more we get out. They want me to focus on transfer market. All right, you better give me an enormous budget then. Like, I'm talking ridiculous, like hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds. If they refuse to upgrade youth facilities and invest in youth coaching and then give us a transfer budget of like 10 million, I'm gonna be cranky. It's not a disaster, but it won't be great either. Okay, we're expected to lose this match. We were expected to lose the last time we played Bind as well. We beat them 1-0. We were at home. But we have beaten them. We finished the season off with a win and a draw. The draw wasn't super convincing, but the win was pretty good. And there it is. German Cup final. What should I be calling it, Zach? Just German Cup? I'm not upsetting anybody, offending anybody. The FB Pokal is just a bit of a mouthful. Yeah, that's a good point. I like that. Strong message indeed to the Arsenal board. I don't, I don't want to go to the tactical meeting. I need to go to the bathroom is what I need to do. Right. Just pick up. All right. Playing in the poker. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. We're going to take a break. German Cup. I'm going to sit. Well, I'll stick with German Cup then. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not going to the bathroom right now. I'm going to go to the BRB screen so you guys don't have to watch that. I'm not just like going in the chair. That's disgusting. Why are you even suggesting that? What's wrong with you people? Uh, so we're going to take a break. Everybody get up. Stretch your legs. Stretch your cables. Take a walk. Smoke if you've got them. Have a snack. Maybe some chocolate. Maybe some peanuts. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. And then get comfortable because it's our first shot at European silverware coming up in a few minutes. It's going to be epic. We'll be right back. Don't freaking go anywhere except for the walk and stuff I mentioned earlier. It's all very confusing. You know what I mean. Back in flash.
It's not true. Not for me, not for you. And we are back at UP, UP and Chase. Can't really see it, but throwing on. Can't see it at all. I don't like it. There we go. Suit jacket. Can I see a little bit? No, we Pump. Got a message from the board. They're like, DP, you can't be wearing a t-shirt to a cup club. Fine, whatever. Yeah, this is the final. Legit final. <laughs> Didn't notice. How dare you, sir? It's gonna be epic. Wait to play down the middle. No, we change nothing. We do what we do is what we do. So the team for the German Cup final. Again, our first shot at silverware in Europe. Actually, no, 
Ahí voy. What's the one in the ad? I want to lay out. Just use this piece. Ribeiro in goal. Four at left back. Herman, Parky, in the center of defense. Our captain, right there. Francesco Donati at right back. Kovinens is our defensive mid. The Chuck Man, Chuck the Maker, partner with Jaeger in midfield. Gardai on the left hand side. Gets a start. It's awesome. Goy on the right. Pollard up front. It's not Mick Jagger, it's Michael Jaeger. The Jaegermeister. And when he scores, it's the Jaeger bomb. Let's do it. Have some backwards. We've got the label sticking out through my head. Looks like my brains are leaking. Which they probably are, in all honesty. But whatever. I'm still crooked and weird. I shouldn't have done this. It's a mistake. It's all distracting. Okay. Uh, no pressure here. Make the difference, Pollard. Play better than you did in the last game because, man, you suck. Okay. Here we go. The nerves are real. Check in real quick with, where are we at? Come on. I'm already at 91 beats per minute. Heart rate one of them. A slant and plays, no doubt. Or uh, something by some rubbish pop artist that no one likes. Get the football, guys. Yes, Chuck Man takes it away. Shot from range. Dar sails wide. Positive start. Let's encourage the lads. Because this is going to be a tough game. We may get absolutely ruined. We've got the football. Here's Parky, our captain. The legend of the save. Along with today. Here's Goy. Can he win the foot race? He cannot, but he's broken Davies there. Fine start, die. Fire is over. I got a bit excited then. Sucked Davies. Break a dude, boy, and his mohawk with that punk spirit. Obviously, he was listening to some Sex Pistols or something when the game kicked off. Actually, mohawk, probably uh, rancid. Rancid guy. That's it. We haven't even got a yellow card in the first half yet. We're barely kicking him. Alright. Nilo, first half. Cool with it. Uh, oh, we have got a yellow card going on the right. That dice had the best chance of the game, but he's only on a 6.5. Pollard's on a 6.4. Uh, yeah, keep working hard till full time. That's all we got to say. Attackers, pump the fists. Just try to give everybody a little bit more motivation because we're good at that. Dutch courage. It's non alcoholic. No, it's a lot uh, no sugar in it either. I was gonna say it's loaded with sugar, but it's really not. Alright. More on courage. Yeah, wrong end of the field. Benardi! Look at him go! What a goddamn hero. Bucky, that was dumb! I ain't even, like... Not the time to make an error party. Not the time. Of course, tried to get over to cover. Ribeiro was nowhere near it. That's really disappointing. Since we can't actually tackle, we will turn this off. And I think I have to go positive because we're chasing the game 
and I think we need to take my guy off. Go with Seb Richter. Um, we'll push Park up, we'll drop Wodge in, swap them over. Wodge or Doom? Doom. Oh my god, we just scored and I'm messing around with everything. Completely missed it. Got equalised. Pollard scored. Hey. Goy. It's Pollard special. Goy's played it in. Pollard's there. One touch. He slotted that in. Oh, oh. We need trumpets. We need the boys to party. We need all the things. And there I am messing around with substitutions and all sorts of crap. Oh. 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 How are we looking? What do we, what do, we do? I don't know what to do. Um. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Boy. There's Pollard having a run. He's got support. He just needs to turn and find it. They're all behind him, though. Referee! Straight red. Red card. Those lads. Ten minutes to go. Pause. Goy is exhausted. Stenman's going to come on for him. Um, I'm going to take Urman off, which is a really big call, but we're going to throw on the watch. I'm going to swap these guys. Oh, no. You know what? No, we're going to leave it alone. That's it. And we keep a, a sub in the hole. Chuck is exhausted. Alright. Chuck on the floor. We're playing better. Chuck Man comes off for Andy. Swap him over. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. Nardi. The Nardi. Safe header back to Rivera. Nardi's got nothing in the tank. Neither does Floor, neither does Jaeger, neither does Pollard. They're dead on their feet. We launch it upfield. Pollard's there. Can't win the header, but Gillespie does. Knocks it down to Pollard. Plays it through for Gillespie. Stenman's in! Going over to keep his safe it. We've got a corner. This is like last chance before full time, surely. Watch us there. Can't win it. Oh no, not like this. Stenman, he's injured. Fighting bravely, doesn't have enough nits. <laughs> Holy crap, we should have lost. They're still coming at us. Floor, clears with the head, but they win it straight back. Gennady with another header, trying to get it clear. Stenman plays it out to safety. Zach's asking about the heart rate. Oh God. 97. Nearly cracked a ton. Headed into space. Well, I, uh, no, that's uh, Richter giving chase. They are still coming at us. We don't have enough to keep them out. No. <laughs> That's heartbreaking. Oh man.
It's a great pass, and our guys were all exhausted. The floor was never going to get there. this pause we go very attacking we we'll just do all the things right now edit tax oh game's over always change how you get them we don't need to see them get the trophy I mean that was an epic performance from the lads legit They gave it everything, and we can't be disappointed with that. No cup final, but we do bank two and a half million quid just for showing up on the day, and for this little club to reach their first German Cup final after 127 years, that's an achievement we can hang our hat on. We've broken the game. I am proud. Disappointing to lose like that in the 96th minute. And we equalised like straight away. They were down to 10 men. But they've just shown the golf in class, really. It's, it's a tough to beat. We have a pop doctor. How good's that? Oh, what a shame. It was coming though. We were under so much pressure for that last 20 minutes or so. We qualified for your open league. How much money is in that? Heaps more money. Heaps more money. Like double what you get in the conference league. Okay. And we're the biggest overachievers in the German Cup. Ivan Pollard, top goal scorer in the competition with seven and a goal in the final to almost push it to extra time. Couldn't quite get us over the line though. No trophy, but plenty of pride. We gave them a game, a really tough game. And we broke a bunch of them. We kicked the crap out of them, which was lovely. And they needed like Alex Ferguson time to get past us. I'm proud of that effort. I'm not even super, like I'm gutted to lose it, but I'm not super disappointed because of the way we lost it. Like, we were still trying at the get. And that last goal was pretty much conceded because the players were still pushing forward and the wing backs were out there. We were still playing that high line. We'll change our squad playing at the very long. Ekelor won't be here. Bernardi won't be here. Daniel won't be here. up real quick.
I forgot we almost signed. And now I wish we had. Big issue up front. But that's how it's got playing with now. Oh. I race back down to 88. Budgets are in. I didn't even see that it happened or I would have made a big sudden dance about it. So, 600 grand wage budget, 26 million transfer budget. It's not bad. We do. Plays. It's a little bit more money to come in. Let's see how it goes. 26 mil, we've got like three positions we need to replace. So, it's about 8 million per. profit there too. Potentially. Assuming they can reach that Alright. So season is done. We're almost two hours in the stream. I'm keen to get stuck in the transfers, but the window doesn't open like forever. I'm just gonna fix my hat. Jacket off too now. I'm getting quite hot, but I've got an aircon, so let's just uh, build the planet. Let's do the season up here. Let's have a look. New arrivals. Jaeger, very happy. 7.12, not bad. Goy was great coming in in January, made a big difference in that right wing. Uh, Farkin played well. A plus for Goy, B for Fafi, A for Ehrman, B for The Watch, A plus for Koberman, and again, signed him permanently for 45,000 pounds after his loan. Absolute bargain. 
B plus for Gil, and we're going to run a complete profit on him. It's all profit. Uh, a B for Stenman. He's got a beauty to lose cause. Uh, Espindola, we get an A plus for, because I'm pretty sure we got him on a three. We did. He's got an eight and a half mil release cause. Bernard, we get an A plus for. Floor, we got a B. Uja, Zikowski, Fernandez. And Joe Williams got a well signing for this season. And he buy for a goalkeeper. Uh, I don't think they were on board with a lot of our sales, but they don't really care. And loans, no, it was a toss. Bundesliga, A plus from the board. Finished in sixth place. We had a shocking run early in the season. We bounced back though, and had a mixed bag for a finish. And then for our running cup, amazing stuff. Absolutely epic. Runner up. Ah, oh, what a cool trophy too. Now I want one. Next time, Gadget. Next time. Moments to remember. Our biggest win. 8 0 in the cup. Four goals for Pollard. A goal for Dunthorne. Matty Ayo. Zikowski scored. Uh, and Gali before we sold it. 5 1 against Bayer Leverkusen. Back in August, early in the season. Parky, Pollard with a brace. Richter and Gill, according to his injury rate, really, really good home. And uh, the 2 0 result against Carl Green kind of steadied the ship uh, after some catching performances. Espindola and Townsend were just making it there. Uh, and it was, uh, yeah, Espindola's goal in the 86th minute. Found the shot for 19 minutes. That was a great goal, too. Goal of the season. Finance wise, we've now got a national reputation for HMA. Sponsorships up, broadcast revenues up, money's up everywhere. Parky has sold the most shirts. Our captain, Chuckman second, Stenman, Espindola, and Gil Pollard, not even on the list. Not his boy. Interesting. I would have thought Pollard would be front and centre, but apparently everyone here hates him and don't want to wear it. And none of them plays and really want to move on except for maybe Gil. Gil sold a decent number of shirts as well and barely played. This is weird. This is how we lined up for the most part. So Zanola disappointing with a 6.75. The Wodge at 6.98. Floor at 6.8. They are young though and they've now got another season under their belt. So we'll see how they go. Uh, the middle of the park is pretty much set in stone at this point. The park and Jaeger, Chuck Moon, that guy, no drums there. Richter's moving on, of course. We won't be able to retain his services, especially with the 26 minute budget. Uh, and Pollard, we can't afford one of his big Six assists, 20 goals, so that's really tough to replace. And there's me, no awards for me, sad time. Club Awards, Pollard, Fans Player of the Season, but nobody wanted to buy his shirt. Figured that out. He's also Young Player of the Season. Oh, the music's still up. There we go. Brilliant stuff. See? And yet, Twitch won't let me have my L Play emo. Like, I've earned an L Play. Let's try this again. We'll go right back to the start of the season review show. We're not going right back to the start. You've seen it all on the screen. So, Pollard, player of the season, young player of the season. Signing of the season was Jaeger. I can get behind that. He was great. Espen goal of the season. Why not? Uh, Pollard, top goal scorer. That's because he scored the most goals, so that's kind of hard to argue with. Uh, Benke Dada with the most assists from 12. Pollard with the most player of the match. Highest average rating was our goalkeeper, which is semi terrifying and the watch with most passes on the head. Pollard breaks the record for most goals in a match that I most this season. No competition awards. It's done better than anyone would expect and rarely slipped up thereafter. 
Edric Spring tells a different story. Marco Conrad. I'll buy that for a dollar. Should now, it would be awesome. And then Dynamic Manager Timeline, which I know is everybody's favourite new feature of FM23. So, started right here in Adelaide. Won the FFA Cup. There's one signed Anthony Caceres, who was really good. NJ Baranakea, I remember him. There's Poppers. Benny Warland. Who wound up at John Yan with us. Free transfer of one Marco Arambasic. I remember Marco got knocked out of the AFC Champions League. No, AFC Cup, sorry. That was disappointing. There's Marco scoring his 29 goals, breaking the club record. Manager of the year. Do, do, do. Where's our league win? There it is. Aha, A league win. Then we went to John Yam and had an awesome time. One K League 2, of course. Lee Yu, 39 goals in the season. Channel record so far, no one scored more than him. That might be a record that never gets broken on the save. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, KFA Cup win in Korea. And look who it is! Park Seung Min. Choi Ho Wan broke the record for goals in the season in K League One. He abandoned us. Where's uh, Crespo? There's Carlos Aguilar. He never reached his potential at all. Is this Crespo who isn't showing up? Wait, oh, there he is. Got him from always ready for 350k, sold him for like 500k. Wound up in Paris Saint Germain where he's worth like 80 million now. Disgusting. Absolutely gross. One K League one. It's epic. Good times. Lee C Juan. Best goalkeeper in the save so far, without question. He was awesome. I remember him. Bruno Ferreira. Our Champions League victory. And then off to Palermo, Brunori, we had a good six months, and we bend him off, just throw him away. Uh, what else did we do there? Kanga, I remember Kanga, Donati, 600 grand, there he is. Jonas Eriksson, who was supposed to be the next big thing and was not. Look at Chukwu, it was trash. Lasio. Keeper, he was alright, but he was no Lisi Juan. Uh, Bisnina, who was supposed, to, was supposed to solve the striker problem, did not. Michelle Maloney uh, was uh, again supposed to be a solution and was not. Signing the silver permanently was good for me. Bringing in Irukunda was a good piece of business, nice and cheap. Ginelli was also crap. I don't remember him at all. 300 matches a manager took place at Palermo. And then we ran away, because we ran out of money. And we came here to Germany. We made 20 million quid, bidding off all the players who didn't want to be there. We sold uh, Bookfitch, who we keep coming up against now, <laughs> for 12 mil. Uh, so there's Matty Ayo, who's never really lit things up. Miko never played for us. There's Parky joining. Uh, Awuki, who we got rid of. Connor Gillespie, who's been really good. Victor Gali, he came in and has left. Danola, Tavares, who's never any really good. Gil is always injured, no good. Uh, Morgala, we got 12 mil for. Who else? Who else? I get Francesco Ricci hasn't played for us. Zikowski, 500 grand from Bayern. They saw us coming. But I don't scream, I don't There's our promotion. It's Parky coming over. I see the 
Rory, Tony Stauffer. I remember Tony Stauffer. It was good when he was fit. Then man, Wolfie got the free. He played this season. Jaeger, Kruger is on his way out. Kruger, Kruger's been with the nine mil, forty-five grand for Kruger. Bargain. Oh, we've got the young centre back Claire coming in as well. Nice. And that is where we are at right now in the year of our Lord, our Lord being one, 2032. But if you're telling me that, and best 11 of all time, three plays going in. Pane Chucky Maker, the Chuck Man himself, is in the all time best 11. As he should be, absolutely. The very best best goalkeeper. Pollard's uh, also made it in. I've been with as a striker, Jim and Gillespie are on the bench. Nice. And there's Dad Beautiful stuff. Season review. Yep, we were there. We saw it happen. It was great. Squad dynamics. Three team leaders, two of them are leaving. Sad times. Training camp destination. Where do we want to go? Oh, we can go to Italy. Let's go back to Italy. Yeah. See, boys, you great. Ah, right. Monthly staff meeting. Me and email. Club vision and expectations. What do you want me to do? Play defensively solid football. <laughs> sure. Uh, possession football. We're pretty good at that. So I'm playing number 23. I'm trying. Work within the wage budget. Spend your original transfer budget. I do what I can. Be competitive in Europa League so I don't really care if we lose. I'm so embarrassed. Don't get relegated. Become an established from the team. I'm going to get a board with all that. Plans for next season. Greetings, lads. Yeah, okay, they're happy with that. Cool. Let's check my holidays. We'll discuss promises. Thanks all. Have a good break. Love your work. Sorry about the cup. But you did yourselves proud. First season, Bundesliga done and dusted. We have survived. The Euros are going to be happening. Paper America is going to be happening. We've got three players going to the Euros. Matty Ayo, Kawaj, and Conor Gillespie. It's pretty awesome. And uh, we need to change gears from Holy Cap. Wasn't that season amazing? DP is the best manager in the world. So DP as the best manager in the world. Uh, sort your team out because you really need a striker and a goalkeeper and a right winger desperately. Players will get some cash. We've still got Moolah going on here. What do one million schmacky doodahs to spend? Hmm. How's that projection looking? Finance wise. How are we doing? Yeah. Don't like that screen. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I want to look at clauses. How much cash can we bring in? 10 grand. Not worth it. 40. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. These are all crap. Who made all these deals? They're idiots. This is the worst thing ever. 600. 16 grand, yeah. Um. Ooh, 1.4 mil to buy it. No. 520 grand. No. No. These are expensive. What have we done? Very silly. 70 grand. Okay. Uh, and the watch. No. Alright, so we got rid of a little bit of debt. It's fine. Cool, 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 cool. I, I'm really torn. I want to press on. I want to do all the transfers. But then I also kind of want to save them for their own thing. 
record low number of lead draws. Arminia Hilifer's final lead position of six is a new high. Look at that. Hell yeah. You like to see it. Uh, record low number of lead draws. Uh, my German's a little rusty, but that is Young Player of the Year. Going to our very own David Doom. That's an award. He gets trumpets. Damn right. Uh, we got second in Manager of the Year. Just ahead of Laksan Ibrahimovic. And under this two. Gross. Look at that manager point. Still, we'll second place manager of the year for a sixth place finish. Not freaking bad. Uh, star info, David Jobson. So no words yet, but we are not the favourite for the Arsenal gig. Any other jobs going that are interesting? Not really. I want to manage to keep switching. Go back to the championship. I don't want to manage to keep switching. These guys go down. So no news yet, and I'm not going to do anything silly like declaring this. But yeah, we haven't had an email or anything else from Arsenal. In case you missed it, we did apply for the Arsenal job. Then they sacked their manager after finishing the fifth in the Premier League. And it will be a good opportunity. We're not likely to get a job at all. So we'll see what happens to a very itchy man. Where's that? Schoenberg is throwing, then you come back to them. Make a spoon. Come back. Stop it from the bathroom. Alright, And as if I'm taking the Chuck Man down from Star Play to make it a spot. Chuck Man is getting lost in the line. And as far as it's on its way out, we're going to get money for it. Look at that. Alright kids, we are going to leave it there tonight, uh, I'm going to get an early night, I'm going to have a good sleep and put a critical roll, and we are going to be back, possibly, in the morning, my time, evening, European time, get stuck in this transfer business, build a squad for Europa League competition next season, which is insanity, but it's got to be done, we're going to compete on two fronts, which is terrifying. Mains have won the Europa Conference League. Well done, Zlatan. Congrats to you, sir. Uh, what's all this then? This is break. It's gone. Frank Clark, I reckon, it could be better than Chuck. Oh, believe it when I see it. There's no one is. So, thank you all for riding along and joining us for our first major cup one of the save. In Europe, it was fun. Didn't get the result we wanted, but sixth place finish, heaps of cash, upgraded training facilities, and a smile on my face. So when we return, we'll be buying striker, we'll be buying goalkeeper, we'll be buying right winger, adding a little bit more depth where we need it, and uh, uh, yeah, push on for the new season. Thank you, Zach. You too, buddy. Enjoy your day, night, whatever the hell it is in your next. <laughs> oh. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all tomorrow night. So until next time, I shall see you next time. Yes, all the Harrys. Harrys in the chat. Boo. Get your Harrys out. All the Harrys, forever. All right, night all. We'll see you tomorrow.
That's the BRB screen. That's not the ending screen. <laughs>